Hey guys, welcome to the installation of Clean Ejo Assisting on the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1. This is the 510 version of the Samsung Galaxy Tab. Okay, so I have installed it. So uh, let me show you for a second. This is the Lineage OS. I'm just setting it up right now. I just installed it. This is the later part of the video after installation. I've just pasted it uh, here right now. And yes, I'm just setting it now. And uh, yes, this is the Lineage OS 16 on the tab 510. If you're a person who's just first time installing the software on your device, then you must do some of the following. So let me show you. First of all, you need to uh, unlock the bootloader by the following steps. You need to pause it for a second and read it. And then I'll show you one of the later part where I uh, do this. I'm just going to unlock the bootloader and uh, for that I just hold it down the volume up and volume down for some seconds and then I get this. So you need to plus the volume up for some time to unlock the bootloader. So I'll just press it right now. Yes, and it shows like this. I've already unlocked the bootloader, so it's showing me to lock the bootloader. So uh, when you're doing this, it would ask you for something else. So you just need to press the volume up then. So this is how to boot to download mode. Pause it for some second. And then you'll boot to download mode and then connect it to your computer. And install the TWRP recovery. So yes and then you need to hit the start button and it will show this it would be uh, faster than ever and if this fails you have uh, failed to uh, unlock the bootloader so you need to repeat that step once again so yes this is twrp recovery and that i'm going to boot into and when you get here you need to do something and that is you need to wipe and advanced wipe and select all these from there including the internal storage and excluding the last two and they need to swipe i've already done it so uh, you just need to do it so uh, you need to copy this multi disabler from the uh, all in one file description that uh, all in one file that i provided you in the description below then you will need an otg cable to uh, paste that into your USB drive and uh, access it, accessing it via the TWRP recovery. So I'll just mount it from here. So uh, if you don't have a pen drive, it's okay to copy it in the, the uh, internal storage or the SD card. So just see this. I'll just go to select the storage from here to my USB drive. If you're using the micro SD, select the micro SD. So I'll just flash it like this and then I'll do this. I'll go to the download mode. So I'll swipe it from there. Okay. So yes, it shows this downloading from here. Now what I will do is I'll go into my PC after connecting it there. And turn on Odin and select the Lineage OS zip file. And yes, it says please wait for this. And I would like to thank the creator and I would link his uh, profile in the description below. He is from XD Developers and I am a lot of thankful for him for developing this. And yes, 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 and yes, yeah, you need to um, select the start and it will start flashing from here. And I will just fast forward this for some time because it takes a lot of time like um, 10 minutes for flashing. And yes, when it's flashing, when the flashing is over will show this like uh, reset and then this one oh yes you need uh, to uh, get into the lineage OS and it will take some time like this and uh, and it would be uh, successfully booted up in some few seconds and actually it takes a lot of time in the first boot and then you'll be okay so I saw this video at the uh, start of the video. Or uh, okay, I'll show you. This is the installation of G apps. We need to install G apps onto our tablet. So uh, I've uh, provided that too in the description below. So yes, we'll install it. And uh, as usual, we'll just swipe it from here. And yes, 
If you don't have a USB storage, you are free to use the micro SD card or the internal storage of the tablet. So yes, it takes some time. Okay. It may be because I'm copying it from the um, this pen drive and it would be much more fast if I had done it via the uh, micro SD card. But it's, uh, I would recommend that it's uh, to a slow process that if I use the micro SD card and uh, because I have to remove it like every time I want to copy this file and install it. So now we'll just, yes, yes, come on. So I'll just press that uh, power button for once and then remove the uh, pen drive and place it over here and uh, let it start to boot and it will quite surprise you I'll bet that so okay it takes like roughly five seconds to boot up I think let's see yes like seven seconds that's it for the boot and we are inside and it looks pretty awesome and I'll show you other OSs and custom forms for this device later. That's it guys for watching and uh, and uh, also subscribe to this channel and also like this video if you find this helpful. And please guys be sure that you are, you are taking this risk and uh, it might void your warranty and uh, be sure. Okay. Guys, thank you for watching. Goodbye.